Well, welcome back to step three. This part is uh, getting off the highway and actually starting the city. First part was stepping into the map, kind of getting the overarching plan. Second part was just kind of like doing the same thing, but on like a little bit more micro scale with just the first area. I don't know if you kind of got that plan here. And now let's get off the highway and get rocking and rolling here. So I'm going to make it simple, easy. So of course, pause the game. That way you don't incur any costs while you're laying roads as well as go ahead and put down your first piece of road. So it's going to be, well, we got actually quite a few options here. This road here. Some people like to disconnect these two together. It doesn't matter. We can do that. Maybe we will. Or you can just put a little knob on the side. And what that does is it unlocks a handful of other roads. It's particularly the dirt road, which we're going to use, as well as the, the, the two lane road here. So we're going to continue using that. What I would say here, we want to make some room and have, because we'll eventually build, we're going to build a level two roundabout. And so if I have a roundabout series, if you want to see, see that, there's a level two roundabout. And it's going to have these nice, like, angled rows. We're going to start with that. We're going to want to leave enough room to upgrade it to level three and potentially level four if the tra traffic really demands it. Usually in your starter area, because you're dealing with a lot more, like, light density stuff level two level three is going to be enough so let's go ahead and just draw us down and uh we have some we can always rework that bridge we have a little bit of room there i would say let's come down maybe 20 units so that's two road lengths that's going to be maybe 15 is probably enough so that's going to be about here and we'll put a little like nub just to remind me where where that is because i'll forget and then we'll come down to all the 20 units. And that's going to be the, the roundabout diameter. We could make it 16 or 18. It's up to you. I would recommend at least 14 to make this kind of this size roundabout. So then we're, this, of course, means it's two road lengths. So you can, if you want, you can go out a whole other road length here, like that, or you can just it's one road length this way. So it's, either way works well. We gotta blow this little nub up so we can go ahead and blow this piece up. We don't need this anymore. And we'll just kinda do like this. And I'm on left hand traffic, so left hand traffic is clockwise off where you're roundabout. If you're on right hand traffic, you're gonna go the other way. Be kinda clockwise. And you can get rid of this stuff in the middle. That's fine. That's gonna be our basic first entrance to the city. That's gonna be nice, efficient, nice and easy. That was easy enough to build it, hopefully. Then we'll go ahead and grab this road here and we'll just do come out a full road length and then we'll maybe go over like a little nump here so if we can do it we should be able to do it it's just all touchy on the controller one little nub there and one little nub there and then we'll come down here and just take note of the angle i say 105 is fine one of we'll just do 105 that's a nice and easy number and a nice easy number here and we'll see this if you want it to be symmetrical you just take another angle which of course you're on playstation so you're using the controller <laughs> sometimes a little tough and you can go ahead and just blow up this here we're done with this and then if you really want to get fancy so you could disconnect this right up if you want or if you want to get a nice curve what we'll do is we'll go ahead and find a nice little spot to break this off so maybe we'll pick like right here so you see the the big circle is just just to the right of that circle on the roundabout that's probably good enough put a little nub there and same thing on this side if you want it to be symmetrical just kind of blow this up blow that up blow this up blow that up and we can probably blow that up too and if you want to be slick you can draw it from from the highway the right way so the way the traffic's actually flowing, that way you don't have to flip the roads, or if it doesn't let you, you have to do it the other way. So we'll come this way from here, and then do the opposite, come from this way here. And that's actually about there. And there we go. Now we have a nice, smooth connection here, right? So the cars are just going to kind of zip on in, and they'll look this zip right into here, and go into the roundabout, and zip on out. That's what we want. And we can upgrade this if we want to the two lane road which is uh, right here and later when we unlock the highway roads we'll change these to, sit the, to the three lane highway road as well and we'll kind of do this 
And since I, I drew it clockwise, it's going the correct direction, which is nice. There we go. So there's our round about to start. Now, to get the end pieces, we can use, you can start with the medium road, so the four lane road. And I would say come down, you can come down a full road length, so that's 10 units, and go up to. So one, two, or if you look at where the big circle ends, and you have that like little one little dash line there between the roundabout and like that big circle that's a good place to kind of start and just bring a, a full road length down like that and in the same spot here full road length down like that same spot here and a full road length down easy easy nice and easy there you go so there's your four late and so you got your one way in and three ways out or in and out so you get four in and outs on the roundabout, which is which is good. Like I said, industry is going to be over here, kind of commercial is going to be down here, and our residential is going to kind of come in here. That's how it's going to look. And now we need to make the angled roads. To do that, we just go ahead and grab, we can grab, uh, it doesn't matter, either that road or we can grab this road. Just go to a straight piece. And you want to start on the exiting road first. So that in that case would be this road here, this piece here. And we want to hit 153, I think is the number. So 153, 60. It's been so long, I've built a roundabout. Like that. And then you want to hit 60 degrees here. And why do you want to do that? Because I said so? Nah, not because I said so. So what this does, on console it's important. On, 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 PC, you have TMP, Traffic Manager, President Edition. You can change these arrows. On console, you can't. So you got to actually use the road and make the road do what you want it to do. 153 gives you a nice entry road here where you see that the curvature of this road is nice and smooth. And nice and smooth on this side here. You get these two arrows here. You get a straight and a straight and a right-hand turn. And then, of course, if you're playing... On right hand traffic it's going to be you know straight you'll be on this side it'll be straight a straight and left hand turn and you want this because they'll use all they'll use both lanes they'll come in they'll use this lane if there's stuff over here to do on this side of the, the roundabout if there's stuff on this side of the roundabout they'll use this lane if you don't do the 153 60 and maybe we'll mess one up so, we, so i can kind of show you this is also in the, in the roundabout video but it might be good if you didn't see that to see this uh, let's save it first because you're going to make me break my city before it even starts. And then that way I can just come back <laughs> and I have to rebuild the roundabout. So if you do shoot short, so if you do less than 153, so we'll say, or greater, the angle is greater than 153. Right here. And then we'll say go here. What you get is this, and then we flip it around. Yeah, I got over exaggerated. What, what you get is this. You see how I got like a bump out? And you don't want like the cars to try and like do some crazy like, oh, I'm over here. Now I got to go back over here trick, right? So you got this weird looking de deformity in the road. So where over here you have a nice, it's nice and smooth, right? So that's what, what happens if you go to like acute of an angle here. So let's go the other way. I didn't mess up the roundabout too bad. Now, if you go too far, so like maybe like way out here, what you get is a road that kind of comes in like this way. So you see how it's like almost coming in like almost like a straight this way. And what that does, the game it creates a, a left hand turn and a right hand turn. So now, folks who are using the roundabout, they'll only use the one lane. So you lost the use of this lane. Because, you know, the folks here, you know, are forced to make a turn, like a, a U-turn back into the roundabout. So you don't want that either. So hopefully that's helpful in you building roundabouts. So you want 153, which, I'm going to up that road so I can get the right angle numbers. So I don't know what it is without it. And then 60 over here. And like I said, draw the entering, or we'll say leaving the roundabout road first. And we can't get 60 because of that note. So what we have to do is do something like this. And then blow it up. And we got we had to move that note a little bit. 
So he doesn't want to well, they move it even more. Maybe like after here. So if you mess it up, you're going to have to create an, another node because you created a node. So you have to move it like I just did here. Okay, it can be a little bit of a pain. But I'll do it for you. I do it for you. And we need some music, don't we? Let's put the music on in a second. Hey, Chandler. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the start of a new city. Hopefully you're having a nice day. Oh, we've got to create a new node. Because we messed up the roundabout when I did the whole show, show you how to mess up a roundabout trick. And, of course, I'm on console, so it's really hard to get the right angle. So 160 is what I'm looking for. Come on. There we go. I'm on camera. Don't embarrass me on camera. And there we go. Now we have a nice roundabout. Nice and big. Later on, like I said, we'll upgrade this to highway. And we'll go ahead and put slip lanes in here if we need to. We'll run those roads from here to here and make a nice, nice pretty pattern. And give people a nice easy in and out of our start of our city here. So there's our highway exit and entrance. Now we gotta go ahead and start our area. Well, let's see what we're gonna do here. We'll probably run a road right down in here. So I'll have it curve from right to left a little bit. We'll have, our, like I said, industry over here. Or maybe we'll have this, maybe come this way and split this way and this way. And that way, We'll, we'll create a way for our industry because our industry is eventually going to go over here to kind of be able to kind of use local roads if they want if they need to to kind of bring in the commercial areas in here as well as coming down here and then like i said this will be all residential on this side here so i think we'll end, end it here that's how you get on and off the highway and then the next uh, one we'll go bed and uh build some grids and get going thanks for joining of course as always and happy building